This is surely 8C class teacher. It is our turn to present today's assembly. Good morning, everyone. I'm Srinitish from the class of 8C, and I'm delighted to be hosting today's assembly alongside my friend Nivas. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all doing well today. We have an exciting agenda planned for you today. So let's get started. A day is incomplete without learning something new. So let's start this beautiful day with an interactive speech. Good morning, everyone. How are you? And uh, I'm going to be going to talk about good manners. First, what are good manners? Can someone tell good manners? Simple. What are good manners? Someone there, raise their hand. You can tell, you can tell loudly. Tell. What? Obeying. Okay, right. No, not really. Good manners is a way of respecting someone and appreciating someone. And now, now let's remember a simple thing. Being kind, polite, considerate. It costs nothing. But it can make the world a better place for everyone. Am I right? Yes. yes. Now, how is the world's condition? The world is cruel. They're destroying things. Why are they destroying things? Because they do not have the, the good manners. So this good manners serves us as a guide. It serves us as a guiding light. So it also reminds us to be kind, passionate, and also considerate with others. And do you know what all good manners that you hold? Everyone has their unique good manners. Can I ask what all manners you hold? Someone tell. What is one thing you do at home which your mom appreciates you? Or one thing that you do good every day? Anything. Tell. Studying. Studying should not come under that list. It's your necessity. Studying, it's a necessity. You should study by yourself. You should get marks. That is your necessity. Studying is not a good manner. It's a, it's a compulsion. So there's simple tasks. Doing our shoes by ourselves. Okay. Correct. Doing your shoes by yourself. Correct only. Because of the learning start of your age, you do not know how to tie your shoes. That's correct. Is there anything? Seeing that I appreciate my mother's shoes. Seeing it's also good. There's many new things. And what all things you learn from good manners? What all things you learn? basics. You learn habit, you improve yourself, you learn how to be adequate, you learn how to be true, you learn self-discipline when you learn habit. So, from now on, let's spread kindness with our actions and words. Thank you. Wow, that was an energetic start. Now, What's a day without a good wife? I call upon Ashini DJ for a song.
simple thank you can make our day and, and strengthen our relationship with others. Hey, do you want to, let, now let's go grab some ice cream. May I please have a scoop of chocolate ice cream? Yes, certainly. Thank you for using a polite language. Moral. Moral. Using polite language and others can make someone's day. Thank you. I was sure, surely amazed by this performance. Let's have a huge round of applause, please. We get inspired by many stories. So now I call upon Vasha for a short story. In a quiet town, Lily and Bhai known for her kindness and manners, met Mrs. Thompson, an elderly lady in it. Lily's immediate offer of help sparked a beautiful friendship between them. Despite their age difference, they bonded over, shared stories and cups of tea. Lily's kind had inspired everyone, spreading goodness throughout the town. Over time, Lily and Mrs. Thompson became inseparable, offering each other unwearing support. As Mrs. Thompson's health declined, Lily reminded by her side, grateful for the lesson she learned. Lily's heartgrateful gratitude illuminated the importance of kindness, good manners, and friendship. The end. Moral. In the small act of kindness, Lily showed the true magic of good manners. Thank you. Thank you, Madhulita. I We hope we, you all enjoyed our assembly today. And now our class teacher, Shirley Ma'am, will, will be coming on. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay. Actually, I plan to uh, sing a motivational song, but I have throat infection, so I just want to share a, a short story on a topic, unhappy crow. Okay? Do you remember the story which I shared in the previous, uh, I mean, the last assembly which was conducted by HC? The frogs. Yes? Uh, yes. The words which we speak have power. Likewise, I want to share a short story on the topic, unhappy crow. So there was a crow which was unhappy. Okay? The crow was crying, 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 continuously crying. And an angel appeared and asked, why are you crying? <clears throat> the crow said, I hate my life. It's because of my color. I have two black in color, so I hate my life. So the angel said, I'll give you a chance. What would you like to pick up? So the crow said, I would like to become a swan, a white swan. What a beautiful color it is. So the angel said, Yes, I am ready to fulfill your wish. But before that, I want you to go and meet the white swan. The crow went and met the white swan. And the crow said, You look beautiful. 
You're white in color. Hope you enjoy your life. The white swan replied, Who said I'm happy? I'm not happy. Then the crow asked, What's bothering you? The white swan said, The white color. That's really bothering me. The crow asked, White is the symbol of peace. Then why do you say like this? Then the white swan said, White is basically used on the coffin. So I hate my life. I hate this white color. The crow and the swan both went and met the angel again. Angel said, What happened? They both said, I would like to become a parrot. The angel said, Yes, now I am ready to fulfill your wish, but you have to go and meet the parrot first. The crow and the white swan, they both went to meet a parrot. They were searching for a parrot in the jungle for a long time, but they were not able to find it. Finally, after some time, they found a parrot in the jungle. They both said, what a color combination you have, green and red. The parrot said, I am not happy with this combination because my color is the same as the jungle trees leaves. I've seen you both were searching me for a long time. After some time, you found me in this jungle. It's because of the color. Now, the three of the crow, the white swan and the parrot, they all went to meet the angel again. The angel asked, what happened? Are you not happy? They said, yes, we are not happy. Then the angel said, yes, I'll give you a chance. What would you like to become? The parrot said, I would like to become a peacock. Because it has a beautiful, colorful feathers. They, the crow, the white swan and the parrot, they all went to meet peacock. They asked, what a beautiful feathers you have. Peacock said, who said I'm happy? I'm not happy at all. They all the three birds asked, what's your problem? What's bothering you? The peacock said, listen, are you able to hear a sound? Yes, they said, yes, we are able to hear a sound. What it is? The peacock said, it's nothing but the sound of the hunter. He hunts the peacocks for its beautiful feathers. They used to buy it in the shops where the people buy it and decorate their houses with my feathers. The peacock said, actually we are not happy. You know who is the happiest person? I mean, sorry, happiest bird in the world? It's you. The peacock replied, it's you. Crow, it's you. And the crow was surprised. How can you say that? Peacock said, have you heard about chicken sandwich? Crow said, yes. Chicken burger? Yes. Have you ever heard about crow sandwich? Crow burger? No. Is there anyone who hunts you for your feathers? The crow said, no. Then you are the happiest bird in the world. So what do you understand from this story, children? You should never compare yourself with others. We are unique. Okay, you should boldly say that no one in this world is like me. Yes, many people may have my name, surely, but they are not like me. Do you agree with me? Yes, yes children. Yes. So we are unique, so don't compare yourself with others. God has created us wonderfully. We are wonderful creation of God. Be happy, smile always. Don't compare yourself with others. We are amazing. We will thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. So big hand of applause for Shirley Khan's class. The theme of the assembly is good manners. Actually, it's really need of an hour. Uh, and uh, it started well. And the end part was awesome. Thank you, Shirley, ma'am, for sharing a beautiful story in the morning and transferring your positivity to all of us. And yes, we all are amazing. Is, is that it, children? Yes, ma'am. We all are unique. Yes, ma'am. Great. So take this message to your heart. Okay? Work on it. 
and don't compare yourself with others you have lot of potential and positive energy and make your ambience positive encourage and be enthusiastic got it okay so and the revision for your annual examination begins from today so i'll be coming to your classes checking your test notes revision notebooks okay and at the end of the day you should get acknowledge from your subject teachers the subject teacher whatever revision you are i mean you are conducting in your class at the end of the class please sign it in the notebook what all the revisions the children have done and in pdm lot of positive feedback from the parents they were really happy about the changes happening and all have been recorded in the feedback register some complaints yeah, i can't say that as a complaints it's a concerns and issues raised raised by the parents one of the concerns is discipline maintain there is no discipline at the school you want someone to monitor and be behind you open your mouth and speak you know what to do and what not to do right you are not in primary block you know you are not supposed to talk in any vernacular languages am i right then why still i am hearing tamil hindi english is very much reduced and how will you improve your communication skills and no proper line whenever you are supposed to move to one classroom to another classroom i want the monitors to take in charge fall in a line and all together should move to another activity classes when i come for rounds i still find some of you are sitting inside the classroom not bothered about anything no that cannot be entertained hereafter got it speaking vernacular language and discipline is the biggest concern from the parents so that we need you people to change we can just educate you you have to take it in your mind and work according got it yes ma'am thank you have a great day